Good morning, kids. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about today's project. So this is called an expanding arbor. So the idea behind this little part is I need to make, um, I need to make two of these bushings here. So if you look at these, um, they're actually bronze bushings. So if you look at them, the wall thickness of this guy ends up being um, 93 thousandths. So you can't really um, clamp that in a, ch and you can't really clamp the outside in a chuck because it'll bend. So you need a secure collet holder of um, holding it. Um, so you could uh, you could either make a external collet holder, which is a big undertaking, or you can make an internal collet, which is this guy. So basically I spent today machining this guy out of a piece of um, aluminum. And if you look inside of here, this is bored down here. And then this here is cut at a 15 degree taper. So there is about 900 um, thousandths from the beginning of the taper to the end of the taper, and it goes to an open area. Now, um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually relieved behind this taper block. So the cut goes in, taper inwards, straight through, and then there's a relief for about an inch or so here. And the idea behind the relief is to make most of the flexure right around here. So to make this guy expand, I made a, a little um, plug, uh, some sort of steel. I obviously everything I buy is scrap. So made this little guy. Um, and then this is also cut at the exact same taper as that. The taper is not super critical, but what I did is I kept the cross slide at the same angle where I cut both pieces. So they both end up being the exact same angle. So this guy fits in here and you can see it actually fits really snug because the um, uh, tapers match. So then little 3 8 rod goes inside here. And then this guy goes there, nut goes on here, and expands. So I still need to do a little bit of work to get this to the final exact size. And then I'm gonna start on actually making the bushings. So cut the, oat. Um, yeah, so first I will cut the ID on it and then they'll slide over the arbor. Then I can secure it and then cut the ODs on them. And then hopefully I should have a fully functional lathe. Cheers, folks.